Hi, this is Mark Birch, and this is a quick revision of Act 3, Scene 5 of Macbeth, which is a really short and relatively insignificant scene. One of the reasons for that is it's generally not regarded as Shakespeare's own work, and therefore it's often omitted from performances. It's stylistically very different to Shakespeare's other work, but it's significant because of the appearance of Hecate, given that she's already been referenced in the play. It's perhaps interesting to consider whether the contrasting colours here could symbolise the self-contradictory, ambiguous and transitory nature of Hecate herself. And the character makes an appearance in Act 4, Scene 1, again rather dubiously though. In fact, Hecate's appearance in Act 4, Scene 1 is likely to be a later addition, as there's a reference to a song that's taken from Thomas Middleton's The Witch, which was written about ten years after Macbeth was first performed. Hecate's verse is all over the shop. Um, it varies between trochaic tetrameter, trochaic pentameter, iambic tetrameter, iambic pentameter, although it's all presented in rhyming couplets. Now, if we're going to accept this as an important aspect of the work, then we'd say that uh, the huge variation in the verse forms could complement the uh, vagaries, the weirdness of Hecate as a character. Um, in terms of the content, Hecate criticises the witches for meeting Macbeth without her permission and talks about her magical activity, the latter really appealing to the audience's interest in the supernatural. And this whole scene really is appealing to that kind of sensationalist desire to witness witchcraft, which is probably why it was added to the play after the appeal of the witches was recognised in early performances. It also offers a philosophical point about mankind through Macbeth, security, is mortal's chiefest enemy. In other words, those people who believe themselves to be invulnerable, who are overconfident, who develop this kind of profound hubris, are likely to bring about the downfall of those around them. Okay, tough.